Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a boat like this in the Roblox Studio. This boat will be able to move left, right, and backward and forward. And it won't be able to move on land. So if you're interested in watching a video like this, then I hope you enjoy and let's get started right away. So I won't be needing this. And you want to open up a template, I'm going to open up base plate. Delete the spawn location. Make sure collisions and join surfaces is off. Go to model, make sure all of these are on. And go to view, make sure explore and properties is on. Go back to home, click on terrain editor, click on generate, and then scroll down. And now this will be how we will be generating the water. So uncheck mountains, plains, and hills, and check water. And then press F to zoom out. And I'm going to make the water a bit higher and a bit smaller. And then click generate. And then you can X out the terrain editor, click on part F to go to that part. And then this is how we will be making the boat. So yeah, make it a bit bigger by using the scale button and then change the material to whatever you want. And I'm going to change the brick color to brown and then go and press the uh, plus icon next to workspace and search up a vehicle seat, put it in the center of the boat. And yeah, um, I think this works, it doesn't really matter, but go to model, actually before you do that, press play here, and it's the player is facing toward the water, so, if the, so this is the information we need, so click on model, create linear velocity, and make sure the yellow icon is facing towards the water, the direction the player was facing before. So like this, and then click on create weld constraint, weld the vehicle seat to the boat, and click on create, and then angular velocity, and put it on the boat. And now we want to go to linear velocity, change the velocity constraint mode to line, and then line velocity to zero, and max force to 10,000. This will be bigger or smaller depending on the size of your boat and then go on angular velocity, change it the angular velocity to 000, zero, zero and the max torque to 10,000, which also depends on the size of the boat. And then you can group the boat. So select the parts, press CTR plus G or right click and press group, and then rename it to boat. Press the pl uh, plus icon, search up script, delete the default code, and now we can start scripting the boat. So local seat equals script parent vehicle seat. And then seat changed. So seat change connect function. So this function will fire every time the player changes a property of the vehicle seat by pressing the W, A, or S, or D keys on their keyboard. And you want to go into the vehicle seat and put the angular velocity into the script and also the linear velocity. So script angular velocity, angular velocity equals vector for new, zero, negative one times seats there, zero. And then script linear velocity, line velocity equals 50 times seat for all. This is the speed of um, the boat. So now we can press play here. And yeah, so it works perfectly fine, but if I go right, the boat doesn't turn right. It still goes on one line. Why is this? Well, if you press stop and go back to your linear velocity, it's because the relative to is relative to world. So, the, so that means it'll only go on the same, same axes, like this axis, this axis, and the up axis. So if your boat turns right, it won't go along this axis, it'll still go along this axis. So change the, the relative to, to zip, attachment zero. Go back to home and press play here. And now it's going to work perfectly fine. But now we have another issue, it's driving on land. So to fix this, you want to go back to the script and now make another variable called um, params equals raycast params new and params filter descendant instances equals table workspace terrain and then um, params filter type 
equals enum raycast filter type whitelist. And then you want to do a while loop while pass way through. This is a loop that will repeat over and over again. So local starting position equals script parent vehicle C position plus vector free new zero. And then this will be your range. My range will be five, zero. And then local ending position equals script parent vehicle seat position minus vector free new. And then what is five minus five times two? That's 10. That's um, so, so what, what is five plus five times two, sorry. That's like 15. So then you want to do local ray equals workspace ray cast, um, S pause, E pause minus S pause. And then you want to put the params in there. And then if ray and ray material is equal to in a material water, then else if not ray, or ray and ray material is not equal to in a material water then or you can just do else <laughs> yeah that, that that fixes the problem um script angular velocity enabled equals false script linear velocity enabled equals false then you want to copy this put it into here except this time it will be true and now you can press base plate and then put the boat on the water and press play here. And now the boat will only move on water and won't move on land. So if we test this, it's on the land and now it doesn't move at all. You might be thinking because it's not flat, but that's not the reason. So I'll try again. Okay, so my boat is falling all over the place, but if I put it on the land and press play here. Okay, I can't move on the land. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I didn't really have time to explain since I wanted to make the, keep this video short. So if you have any questions, um, make a comment down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.